President Tsai Ing-wen and KMT presidential contender Terry Goh have been engaged in a war of words online. President Tsai's recent criticism of Goh's 2014 comment that one cannot eat democracy has prompted Goh to create an online poll on Facebook. Insisting that Tsai quoted him out of context, the infuriated tycoon asked netizens if they thought Tsai did this because she was, quote, stupid and naive or malicious and deliberate. Today, Tsai hid back in a subsequent Facebook post, drawing attention to the plight of imprisoned dissidents and Xinjiang re-education camps in China. Terry Go, the head of Honhai Precision Industry, seemed to be in a good mood as he wheeled his elderly mother around a park. But only yesterday the tycoon lashed out at President Tsai Ing-wen over her recent claim that Go had once said, you cannot eat democracy. An angry Go insisted he'd been quoted out of context and organised an online vote on Facebook, asking netizens if Tsai made an incorrect conclusion about him because she was stupid and naive or because she was deliberately being malicious. We've posted something on Facebook. Go and look at it yourselves, OK? I'm here today to concentrate on my mother. No matter what option netizens picked, the outcome was favourable for Go. In 2014, Go responded to the anti-China student sunflower movement protesters by saying, you cannot eat democracy. He also said, you can't call every kind of social movement a democratic movement and the kinetic energy of democracy should be transformed into economic results and only economic gains can fill stomachs. These kinds of remarks were recently questioned by President Tsai Ing-wen. You cannot eat democracy? Without democracy, I'm afraid that all of society and national development as a whole will start to reverse. I remember a statement that was posted online. Without democracy, all you have left is food. In a Facebook post today, President Tsai hit back at Go by saying if you run for president, you must have to answer questions rather than design online votes that lambast other people as stupid or malicious. Giving examples, she said, with Chinese-style democracy, people in Xinjiang re-education camps, the late imprisoned Liu Xiaobo and dissidents that have gone missing all have food to eat. But is this the kind of food that Taiwanese people can really swallow? Given that he wants to run for president, Go's idea that you cannot eat democracy is being viewed in a fresh light. And with this, Go and Tsai have launched a war of words on the internet.